next thing I want to do is um, show you how to butterfly a chicken breast. So we're going to make some chicken breast schnitzels and I'm also going to make some mini schnitzels with the loin. So a schnitzel uh, or crumbing is a very um, popular mise en place, um, I suppose, commodity or thing that we do in the kitchen. Um, so I'll, I'll show you the proper setup shortly. However, as you can see, the chicken breast is uneven. So what we want to do is what we would name is butterfly it. So sometimes what a chef will do is cut it directly all the way down in half and make it very thin. However, I only want to thin out the top, hand flat on the chicken breast. Carefully with nice long strokes. It's just making a little bit more even. Now I want to make two schnitzels. I want to make smaller ones. So I'm going to cut it in half. All right, so here we have a crumbing station. We've got plain flour. I've got egg and milk. You can do 50-50, that's up to you. I tend to do one egg to about one and a half tablespoons of milk, a little bit more. Then I've got some breadcrumbs here. Now you can do just plain breadcrumbs. However, I've done it a slightly different way. I've actually done 50% breadcrumbs and 50% grated parmesan, ground parmesan. So it's just gonna give that cheesy flavor. Now, to my breadcrumbs as well, I'm going to add some chiffonade basil. Just going to chop it up a bit more. Usually I wouldn't because I know I bruise my, my basil, but I want a bit smaller so it goes into the crumbs. So that basil straight into your breadcrumbs. So now we've got parmesan basil breadcrumbs. So we've got our chicken. What we do? We can into the flour. So what I'm going to do is use one hand for all my wet ingredients, one hand for all my dry ingredients. Because I've already picked this up with the wet, I'm gonna have to now use this, my left as the wet. So then I dust it with my dry hand, so with the flour, coat all my chicken nicely. We need to put it in flour first, otherwise the egg will not stick. Oops, first I need to beat this up. Usually I would season my egg, but because I've got parmesan already in my breadcrumbs, I'm not going to season my egg. All right. One piece at a time in the egg. Pick up with your wet hand. Always to make your life easier, get a bigger bowl. Wipe the excess egg off straight into your crumb mix. Pat down several times. Now some people do double crumb. I'm gonna double crumb just my tenders, not those. You find with double crumbing, of course, it's a little bit uh, thicker coating, a bit crunchier. Another thing we could use instead of fine bread crumbs, we could use panko crumbs, um, which are Japanese style. They're a little bit larger and it makes it slightly crunchier. But traditionally, we've always used fine bread crumbs. All right, so once you've crumbed, I always let it sit in the refrigerator for approximately an hour to so just set those breadcrumbs and then um, you can either cook it by deep frying or alternatively we'll shallow fry in a fry, uh, frying pan instead of deep frying. I'm not going to serve any accompaniments with our chicken schnitzel today. Now with a chicken schnitzel I suppose the what you could serve with it there's a plethora. Obviously in Australia the main two things that we serve with a chicken parma or a chicken schnitzel will be chips and salad or chips and veg. Um, however, I'm just going to do a plain on the plate with a wedge of lemon and a, a little bit of a garnish. Now, obviously, the traditionally a Weiner schnitzel is a German. It comes traditionally from Germany. However, when we think about cotoletta, that comes from Italy. And then we have parmies that come from Australia. So it's all pretty much the same, whether it's crumbed chicken, pork, veal or beef. All right. Like I said, we can deep fry schnitzels, but however, I personally think shallow fry them, shallow frying them is much better. Butter, touch of veg oil or olive oil, up to you. Medium high heat or high heat to start. Okay, so schnitzels in. You can see that foaming butter. That is what I want when I'm pan frying schnitzels. All right, turn over golden brown. That is exactly how you want your pan fried schnitzel to look like. At this point, turn the temperature down a bit and you're gonna cook for approximately another three-ish minutes, give or take. So that's our parmesan and basil crumbed 
chicken schnitzel.